written down the definition coefficient c is the maximum value of the semicircular deviation which varies as the cosine of the compass course and is caused by a horizontal aquatic component of the ship's magnetic field at the compass position coefficient c is algebraic sum of permanent c and induced c a plus c is caused if the horizontal aquatic shape field at the compass acts towards the starboard and a minus c is caused if it is acting towards the port did we do it हां जी सर एक तक लिख लिया तो ओके ये हो गया बोर्ड पे हमने डिस्क्रिप्शन भी देखा था द पोल ऑन द लेफ्ट राइट ऑफ द कंपास आइदर दिस साइड पोल दिस साइड पोल सो आइदर इट हैज टू बी ब्रोकन रॉड्स दैट मींस एक साइड में है इधर या एक साइड में इधर या एक कंटीन्यूअस रॉड है जिसमें एक पोल एक पोल दोनों तरफ बन रहे सो आई थिंक वी हैड सीन दैट C is combination of permanent B, uh, permanent C and induced C. Since it is acting at what shape, we are actually talking about the Q course of the permanent magnet, the Q course, and there will be some horizontal rods or induced rods, which are the vertical rods, as we had seen earlier. uh if you want you can write down about uh acha by the way did we also do the effect of latitude on the coefficient c no sir not no. okay so we'll do that also effect of latitude on <coughs> permanent c pc just one second let me set up the cam uh board visible yes sir yes sir we are talking about the force q we know it is permanent magnetism which does not change correct then go here okay the permanent c is the horizontal aquatic component so the force is q force rather we can say is fixed since it is horizontal bar horizontal force remember that when we are talking about we had q we had fore and aft which was p and we had vertical one which was r so this is a horizontal force acting aquatic direction so this will be magnetized by only the h is that correct yes sir okay so the deviation which is caused is between h and q q is fixed disturbing force h is of course a function of the latitude we know h is maximum at the equator and minimum at the poles in between it will vary so if we are let us say at any given latitude this is the situation and we have the directive force which is acted in this direction if we go to the lower latitude naturally this is going to increase h is going to increase but this remaining fixed 
the resultant will be here now so the deviation when the h is increasing towards the equator the deviation is reduced as we go up in the latitude the deviation is more and more jaise hum uh, latitude mein upar jayenge ye kam hota jayega h kam hota jayega because of angle of the dip h is becoming less and the z is becoming more as we are going up in the latitude so more the latitude less is h and the deviation will be more why because this is remaining fixed at all times so we can draw up a relationship i think think this since it is a function of x delta 2 by delta 1 that is deviation 2 by deviation 1 is equal to h1 by h2 opposite mein ja raha hai into cos of compass course divided by cos of compass course so basically 1 and 2 so this is the relationship of the two deviations how it will vary with the the value of h and the courses deviation at any point any given latitude due to pc is going to be then pc cos compass course this is what we had seen that when we have doing this total delta total deviation we had a b c etc etc so this is what we have all right since it is due to permanent magnetism of the ship the force q how will you do the correction how we are going to do the correction of this permanent c apply the logic so uh, we'll put a third ship uh, horizontal uh, bar horizontal character very good so if we have the compass here we have a third ship slots for putting the magnets depending on the polarity of the of the c or q we will put that rod inside in a third ship direction depending on the strength of q we will put number of them in the slot which is at warship oriented there will be one which is forward aft forward aft ke liye humne already dekh liya ki force p ko hum neutralize karte hain jisme b ki baat kari thi humne yahan pe we have the at warship correcting rods so now write down about uh, induced c just one second all right so induced c induced c is caused by please write down induced c is caused by
induced C is caused by a horizontal earthward shift magnetic field. Horizontal earthward shift magnetic field. at the compass at the compass due to induced magnetism due to induced magnetism due to induced magnetism in the vertical soft iron in the vertical soft iron to port or starboard of the compass to port or starboard of the compass full stop in another words in another words it is due to f rod it is due to f rod i think we discussed about this in normal merchant ships since it is placed on top monkey island pe aur monkey island pe normally fore and aft line mein hamara compass hota hai to ye situation develop praya nahi hoti we may not have induced c unless it is off centered kisi aur tarike ke vessel mein jaisa aapne example ke liye bola tha aircraft carriers jahan pe रनवे के लिए चाहिए होता है उनको फ्री स्पेस तो अकोमोडेशन को साइड में शिफ्ट किया जाता है तो कंपास वहां साइड में होगा नॉट ऑन द फोर एंड आफ्ट लाइन सो देर मे बी स्ट्रक्चर्स विच आर नॉट सिमेट्रिकल एंड सो इट विल बी शोइंग सम काइंड ऑफ आईसी इन दो टाइम्स बट नॉर्मली दिस मे नॉट बी एग्जिस्टिंग ऑन मर्चेंट वेसल्स वेयर द कंपास इज नॉर्मली प्लेस इन द सेंटर On the fore and aft line, जो भी इस तरफ का मैग्नेटिज्म होगा उस तरफ का भी होगा ऊपर नीचे में फर्क नहीं होगा दोनों अगर बराबर होंगे दोनों तरफ बराबर मैग्नेटिज्म होगा and both will cancel out each other as it is. <coughs> so similarly, as we have done for A, B, and permanent C also, we can see the result of this by doing the eight courses the cardinal courses and intercardinal courses and we can also decide the deviations that they are going to cause in different situations okay so we already have seen in the earlier definition when we are going to call the c to be positive and when we are going to call it the c to be negative negative c and positive c plus c minus c kab hoga jab so starboard mein hoga to plus c hoga port mein hoga to minus c kya port hoga port aur starboard kya hoga पोर्ट स्टाबोर्ड होगा लेकिन क्या होगा पोर्ट स्टाबोर्ड सर हॉरिजॉन्टल अथवर्ड शिप मैग्नेटिक फील्ड वेरी गुड हॉरिजॉन्टल अथवर्ड शिप मैग्नेटिक फील्ड का डायरेक्शन अगर टुवर्ड्स द स्टाबोर्ड है देन इट इज पॉजिटिव इफ इट इज एक्टिंग टुवर्ड्स द पोर्ट देन इट इज नेगेटिव सिमिलरली सो वी विल गो टू द बोर्ड अगेन
the case of positive IC. You have the forces like this. Positive C when it is the blue pole is on this side. Blue pole color, right? <clears throat> okay. The compass is here. So in this case, you can now work out how is it going to be affected, how the deviation is going to be. Let us say the first case, then heading north. What will happen in this case? So the compass will be attracted to the blue sides to starboard. That means there will be deviation which is going to be easterly? Yes, sir, easterly. Disturbing force will be maximum. However, since it is perpendicular to it, the directive force will remain same. So deviation hoga, dono ka value will be same. So DF not affected. That's this case. When we are going deviation, when we are going northeast, again, this will be easterly. And since it is going to pull towards this side, towards this side, so the directive force will be reduced then the edge, DF is reduced. When we are here in this condition, what is happening? So opposite. Opposite hook. So, so deviation will be nil. DF will be how much? Uh, how much? Min minimum. Ah, minimum. Maximum reduction in DF, <coughs> which is that is DF is minimum. Similarly, as we can see, when we are going here, now what will happen? This end is going to push the, this end. So this will become what? Deviation is going to be westerly. Correct or not? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So what we have seen from here to here, it was easterly deviation. Then when we are going in this direction, this is going to be westerly. It started off with maximum deviation and zero deviation here. So it is max at this place. At zero degree, maximum deviation. At 90 degree, zero deviation. Then it is changing. After 90 degree, it is changing to westerly. Here again, maximum deviation will take place. DF will not be affected. The same case.
करेक्ट और नॉट यस सर मैक्सिमम डेविएशन विच इज वेस्टर्ली डेविएशन डी एफ इज ऑल्सो नॉट अफेक्टेड इन द सेम वे इट इज हेयर बिकॉज हेयर इट इज एक्टिंग लाइक दिस सो डेविएशन इज वेस्टर्ली बट इट विल रिमेन सेम एच के बराबर होगा डी एफ so from here to here westerly when we are going to this place what is expected deviation is which side where where sir westerly westerly ho sir westerly hoga yahan pe blue hai yahan pe red hai ha theek hai westerly hoga yahan westerly Ah, so this is going to be westerly again because it is going to get attracted to this. So westerly DF will be in the same manner. At this place, it will be reduced. Just like here, it decreased. Was that? Was it here? It will be. So this part is still westerly. Again, similarly in the similar fashion, not going all over the place, but it will be something like this. So do we see? half semi circular deviation yes sir and it is changing at 0 degree maximum at 90 degree zero so is it following the cos uh, function yes sir that yes. is why we said that is why we said c ke bare mein jab total deviation calculate kar rahe the to humne c ke bare mein kya likha tha c cos course total deviation delta is equal to a plus b sin course plus c cos course likha tha yes sir yes sir that is what it is here that is why we said why it is cos ka function kyu hai kyunki 0 degree pe maximum deviation hoti hai 90 डिग्री पे जीरो डेविएशन होता है फिर उल्टे डायरेक्शन में चला जाता है डेविएशन सो फ्रॉम हेयर टू हेयर स्टर्ली डेविएशन फ्रॉम जीरो टू जीरो एट दिस प्लेस कोर्स जितना है जीरो डिग्री कोर्स पे इट इज मैक्सिमम डेविएशन यहां पे यहां पे 090 एंड 270 पे जीरो डेविएशन डी एफ विल बी मैक्सिमम हेयर क्योंकि दोनों एक दूसरे को और एडअप कर रहे हैं एच जो था उसके साथ ये भी एडअप कर रहा है सो डी एफ विल बी मैक्सिमम हेयर डी एफ विल बी मिनिमम हेयर बट डेविएशन इज गोइंग टू बी जीरो in this place and this place all good yes sir since this was ic induced c because of the vertical soft iron which was placed at whatsapp now how we are going to correct this permanent ko to humne permanent magnet se corrector se cancel out kiya forward aft wale mein humne compass ke aage ek cylinders bar dala tha uske opposite mein agar idhar ko create hota hai to uske opposite mein like for like matlab jaise ko taisa jitna idhar ko hai utna hi udhar ko ulta and equal and opposite हमने यहां पे डाला था अब यहां पे अगर होगा तो व्हाट वी शुड डू कैन वी हैव अ अपलेंडर बार ऑपोजिट टू दिस यस सर वेरी मच पॉसिबल सो द फ्लेंडर बार फ्लेंडर बार कैन बी प्लेस्ड इन अथवाटशिप डायरेक्शन ऑपोजिट टू दिस आईसी डिपेंडिंग ऑन द side where it is existing and the direction in which it is existing 
we can create we can keep a fitness bar here in a quad shaped direction in such a way that it counters the effect of ic produced by the ship's structure <clears throat> if at all why if at all because we have already discussed that it may not be present in the merchant ship if it is existing then we can do this correction by flinders bar now as we have seen these are these are vertical soft iron like this so this is going to be induced by z is that correct yes sir and that z is changing with the latitude increasing as we go up in the latitude reducing as we come to the equator so in this case i see we are pitched pitched against the induction caused by z which is changing with respect to earth's horizontal field jo earth ka horizontal field h hai iske chalte compass hamari idhar hoti hai डेविएशन जो हो रहे हैं वो Z के चलते हो रहे हैं विच इज फंक्शन ऑफ द लैटिट्यूड बट दिस एच इज ऑल्सो द फंक्शन ऑफ लैटिट्यूड बट इन ऑपोजिट डिरेक्शन एच बढ़ता है तो Z कम होता है सो आई सी it is proportional to z and it is inversely proportional to h jaise jaise z badhega waise ic badhegi jaise jaise h badhega z ki value kam hoti hai sath mein ic bhi kam hoga and this function follows because of the dip angle so in nutshell what we can say the deviations at different latitudes where the value of h is different delta 2 by delta 1 is equal to z 2 by z 1 into h Two by h one into cos force two divided by cos force one. This also entails that delta two by delta one. is equal to tan of dip 2 by tan of dip 1 into cos cos 2 by cos cos 1 that means z1 z2 increase this also increase it is in proportion to each other oh sorry yahan pe maine kya gadbad kar <coughs> opposite hai na so this is the relationship for ic how it is going to change with the change of latitude jaise jaise latitude change hoga dip ka angle change hoga aur sath mein course ke upar bhi depend karega ki kis course pe kitna hoga abhi humne dekha ki on different courses 
how they are going to produce the deviation so deviation is a factor of the course and it is also a factor of the dip angle this dip angle decides the relationship between this and this h and z ke beech mein Are we good up to this? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, as we said, we can do the correction. Alright. One second. Keep calling. Alpha is there. One second, please. सो बी के केस में हमने देखा था आई बी के बारे में दैट वी हैड प्लेस्ड कंपास के सामने में एक फ्लिंडर बार डाला था हमने यहां पे हम सी के लिए आई सी के लिए व्हाट वी कैन डू वी कैन हैव अथवा कोर्ट में वी कैन हैव अनदर फ्लिंडर बार here either forward or aft depending on where the ib is port and starboard depending on where the ic is we can do this so if we are looking at the ship from the top view we have the compass here one flinder bar is going to be here let us say north hemisphere may other one is going to be here so we have to have two flinder bars this one neutralizing the ib this one neutralizing the ic yes now what we what we can do that this is producing an effect in this direction let us say this is the blue pole for example usko blue bana dete hain that we are creating a blue pole here so the red pole is here and the lines of forces are coming like this so this is negative and there is this field where the lines of forces are like this so what we can have we are creating two magnetic fields agar isko hum vectors mein dekhe we have one vector acting like this one vector acting like this for example then we can create another vector like this now what we are actually talking about don't get baffled because of this what we are talking about here is that we can use one flinder bar to counter get the work of both of these Oh, what we are trying to say that we are going to correction of ib and ic together this is what we are trying to talk about so if we take a look like this 
if this is the compass let us say for example one field is acting like this this is countering the ic and other one which is the force causing ib for this we had placed the bars the flinders bar the net effect of this is that it is both of them are going to create a resultant force like this so what we can do is not only place a flinders bar opposite to this here and flinders bar opposite to this here but we can have a flinders bar which is placed here this is called sleeving of the flinders bar so for an aft line pe directly nahi rakh ke athwa shape opposite to the compass nahi rakh kar ke we can keep this off centered sleeved to the port side or depending on the ic it may be on the starboard side also correction we require for ic and ib this will depend if the ic is small and this is big then it will be placed here if it is more it is less then it should be placed more to this side so as we can see here that there is a slew angle that has to be decided what we are going to do not going too much into it we'll first take down the notes on how to decide how much of sleeving is to be done so will i will dictate the notes please note it down here i am uh, asking you to write down this what do you say because let me put up sir better photo better photo so i will send you two three pages maybe where we are covering the whole chapter of this what we discussed right now correction of ib and ic together by the flinders bar which is slewed little to port or starboard so uh, give me one person's number and you can plot it on the group i don't think i am on the group right now but tell me somebody tell me your name number sushil सर अप्रैल वाले को डाल दिया सर मी को भेज हाँ प्लीज 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 april batch please confirm uh, you have received the four pages yes i received okay please go through it <clears throat> it is based on the discussion that we had single bar single flinders bar placed slewed from off uh, forward aft line in order to cater to both the ic and ib together do do rod nahi lagane ki zarurat ek hi rod lagayenge ek hi soft iron flinders bar lagayenge aur usse dono ka hi neutralization hoga there are mentions of tan dip uh, there are mentions of the angle that we are going to have the slew angle that can be calculated using the tan of ib and tan of ic so please go through it may batch have you received mohit kar diya 
मैं अभी कर रहा हूँ थैंक यू मोहित थैंक यू फॉर हेल्प सर ये फोर्थ पेज क्लियर नहीं है मतलब पूरा उसमें ना नहीं थोड़ा फोर्थ पेज क्लियर नहीं है फोर्थ पेज अगर क्लियर नहीं है तो यू कैन लीव इट आल्सो उसमें एग्जांपल दिया हुआ है एक प्रैक्टिकल के लिए मैंने डाल दिया था कि कैलकुलेशन कैसे होती है हालांकि कैलकुलेशन आएगा नहीं न्यूमेरिकल्स आर नॉट देयर इन कंपास आप बोलिए तो मैं फिर से डाल देता हूं दैट वाज अ न्यूमेरिकल एग्जांपल दैट आई हैव गिवन इन ऑर्डर टू अंडरस्टैंड द सिचुएशन कि हमने क्या किया है वांट Want it? भेज दिया सब देख लेंगे। Okay, ठीक है। तो मैं मोहित को भेज दूँगा, वो आगे भेज देंगे। Now time is almost over, so just after the class I'll send it. Please go through it. But थोड़ा बहुत पकड़ में आया होगा। We have seen that IC is proportional to Z. IC is inversely proportional to H. That means IC is proportional to Z by H. Okay? Yes, sir. But Z by H is equal to tan theta. Depending on how much of H and how much of Z is there. Uh, okay, H and Z. Uh, Z. Okay, ha. Okay, vertical. Component Z and H का combination से it will give you the angle, correct? Perpendicular by base is the tan theta, correct? Yes, sir. So we can say tan of angle of the resultant of H and Z is tan dip angle. Dip angle इतना इतना H इतना said so this by this is equal to angle pehle bhi dekha tha humne correct yes sir so from there we can calculate ic and ib jo box mein diya hua hai aapke pages mein what we have seen here is the uh, in the box that you have seen tan angle of the slew from forward aft center line is induced c by induced b iski value hum calculate kar sakte hain induced ib and ic ki value calculate kar sakte hain dip ke basis pe which is z by h perpendicular by base and that is coming from the dip angle ठीक है यस कंफ्यूजन हो रहा है कंफ्यूजन हो रहा है क्या एक पकड़ में आ रहा है थोड़ा बहुत नहीं आ रहा है थोड़ा बहुत गुड गुड विद दिस वी क्लोज डाउन द क्लास नाउ वी टर्मिनेट द क्लास अगले क्लास में वील टॉक अबाउट द हार्ड आयरन विच इज हार्ड आयरन वैसे तो हमने देख ही लिया पी क्यू आर But P and Q ka, which is both the horizontal components of the permanent magnetism of the ship, there can be a combined effect being produced by P and Q. Combined effect will produce a resultant force. We will call that force O. So that is. dealt with separately in a different section another topic that we are going to talk about is hard iron of the ship or hard iron magnetism which is basically only the combination of p and q agle class mein dekhenge usko okay sir righto then any questions no sir चलिए ओके देन बाय बाय हैव अ ग्रेट डे ऑल ऑफ यू साइनिंग ऑफ विल मीट अगेन इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास